I'm at the register and this little girl, she looked like she was like 16, 17. She starts trying to flirt with me, y'all. And I'm looking at her like, child, please. Good morning y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm about to start, y'all. <laughs> the addiction is real. I went and I was able to make it on time to buy my Wendy's breakfast. I told y'all last time, last, last vlog, I told y'all I was gonna become obsessed. The honey chicken biscuit, I'm about to tear that down. My client's coming in a little early. She needs to use the restroom, so while she does that, I might eat my food. The only thing I, I forgot was to ask for half and half, half water and half lemonade because it'd just be too sweet. So I'm going to go dilute it right now in a cup, eat my food, and then get back to you. Okay, y'all. <laughs> I got a little break. Ooh, this camera's super high. Hold on, let me take you down a little bit. I got a little break, and one of my clients gave me a Hello Kitty um, and Friends mystery box. And this is the Sakura, Fe Sakura Festival blind box enamel pins. Contains one pin. Okay, so this has like a pin inside. And it shows you which character you might receive. Oh, they're all so cute. I seen her. She had hers on her bag and she had the Hello Kitty. Let me show you what it looks like. So that's the front. And then look at the back of the box. So those are the options. I feel like they're all so cute. I love these things. Let me see. Let me see what I get. I got the My Melody. She is so freaking cute. I gotta put her on my bags. Oh my gosh, she's adorable. She's got the cherry blossom on her. She's got the little treats. That is so cute. I love these things. I love these mystery boxes. Good morning. Look what I got. Y'all pray for me, because your girl's got a problem, okay? I came in, breakfast ends at 10.30. I got into Wendy's at 10, I think 
10.31 or 10.32, y'all, I looked at that menu and the menu was already switched to a regular, you know, lunch and dinner menu. Oh my God. I was so stressed. I'm like, no, I didn't rush over here to get the breakfast. And it's already, you know, off the menu. Ooh. Ooh, I gotta dilute this. Oh, it's too sweet. I'm like, it's already off the menu. And so I was like, hold on a sec. Let me go to the kiosk and order from there and see if I'll get it, y'all. I was able to, y'all should have seen me on that, on that kiosk tablet. I was like, <laughs> clicking on that thing to make sure I can get my breakfast and I ordered it. And then I saw one person look at the um, screen and she was looking at it and she was like, <sighs> like I could tell she was annoyed because she thought she was done with breakfast, but I didn't care. I wanted my breakfast sandwich. I wanted my chicken honey biscuit with my, um, what do you call these? Potato wedges. Oh my goodness. It's so good. Wendy's got me addicted, y'all. It's so bad. I just want to be free. I don't want to be stressed. I don't want to be hot. So I passed by Rainbows and I decided to check and see what they got. I also need to go check out H&M. I need to go to Forever 21. I need to go to Zara. Um, what else is there? I don't even know if there's a, that many storefronts available anyway. But I feel like those three. And then also online. Pretty little thing and other shops to see what they have. So this is what I found at um rainbows the only downside shopping there is that they don't have the fitting room open so i have to try it at home see if it fits and if it doesn't then i can um bring it back you know you gotta have your receipts and all that i think they give you seven days so that was only an annoying part i couldn't try anything there but whatever i'll try it at home see if it fits and then return with the ones that don't so the first dress that i purchased was this one and it is $16.97 and it's this dress and it's super long let me see if I can get close up so you can see the pattern it's really pretty super long all the way down um, it is sheer it's see-through but it has a slit already attached underneath it it has like a white slip well it's not really a slip a white dress this part underneath it so I'm excited to try that on and see if it'll fit yo these allergies are killing me sneezing like crazy this is another long maxi dress for ten dollars and ninety nine cents and it's this one right here in like this olive green type of color I thought this was really pretty again I'll try it tomorrow maybe I'll try it in the morning before I come into work and then show you guys on camera but for now I'm just gonna show you as is 
And then I bought this one right here for $7.99 in this pink color. Right? So pretty. Very simple. I got another one in orange. Just your regular basic, you know. I just want to wake up, put on clothes in the summer while I'm coming to work or wherever I'm going and I don't want to have to overthink it. I just want to put it on and keep it moving. You know, less is more because winter, you're tugging around all them coats, the bags, the boots. Y'all, I'm so over it. So this one is for $14.97. I thought this color was so pretty and the pattern. Also another maxi dress all the way down. And let me show you what the color and the pattern looks like on this one. I just think that's really pretty, right? Okay. And I think this is the last one. This is the last one. This one I don't know if it's going to fit because whenever they make dresses in this form, the top part, the boobage area, is never big enough to cover up my breast area. So I'm definitely going to have to try it at home and see if that works out. And this one is going for $14.99 and it's a summer dress with all beautiful flowers on it, a yellow dress. You see the front, the boobage area? Girl, I don't know. We're going to have to see tomorrow if it's going to cover it up because I don't want any nip slips or anything like that. That's the back. Also maxi. All the way down. Let me show you the pattern of this as well, the flowers. Right? It's super pretty. I love the flowers on this dress. Okay. Yep. Those are the goodies that I got at Rainbows. I'm going to go back in a week and see what else they have to offer because I need dresses. I, really, I need really simple, easy going summer dresses. This one's a little, a little extra, but I'll use this on a day that maybe I want to go out to have brunch or you know on a day off I gotta flip this back inside correctly but yeah I just want to show y'all real quick what I got and I'll try it on later on so you can see what it looks like good morning y'all switched up my bag today because I'm wearing pink with my holographic pink shoes and then I'm wearing my <laughs> I don't feel like putting the camera down I'm wearing my camel pants, my everyday pants basically at this point. I wear it every single day. Um, I had to do a little trick on my face because I'm breaking out right here, girl. I got a pimple. My menstrual is gone, but I'm still dealing with the aftermath of my menstrual, um, menstrual pimples and all that, the breakout. And eventually by tomorrow, so it should be gone. But anyway, so, you know, old school trick. Just put a, a few fake little beauty marks or dots or whatever you want to call them. Anyway. Everything that I bought yesterday did not fit me. Well, almost everything. Oh my goodness. It was so embarrassing. I'm, I'm really glad I didn't put it on camera because it was, it was hella embarrassing. Everything was super tight. I'm typically a size 4. I'm a small. But as of lately, I've been more like a 5, 6. And I keep trying to convince myself, like, you're still a size small. Because sometimes I'll go places like, this shirt is a small, but it's loose. And <laughs> I'm just trying to navigate that. I'm trying to understand that in some places the clothing are gonna be a little tighter and a little more true to size so you're gonna be a medium and then others you're gonna be a small girl it, it's a struggle but yeah they didn't fit the the sheer dress the green one that had like the pattern with the under with the under slip dress underneath it y'all that wouldn't even get past here first of all it was so tight on my arms because I'm small but I got a little bit of arm you know it wouldn't fit, so I had to give that up. The only thing that fit nice, which I'm happy about, is this dress right here, which is so pretty. I really, 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 really love the color of this dress, so I'm glad this one worked out. Also, this one fit, but it was like, it was a bit too tight. And this is a small, so I'm gonna go back and see if I can exchange it for a medium size. If there's no medium, then I'm just, I'm gonna give it up. But it's really, really pretty and it fit nice. If anything, I'll probably grab the other colors because they had like a, like a um, cream nude and then they had black and I believe they had orange and I believe white as well. I'll check and see. But yeah, all of these, 
I'm returning them. I gotta return all of them because they didn't work out. So, and um, I'm only carrying this today. I'm not gonna bring my camera because I'm not gonna be able to, I'm not gonna be doing a lot of art today. I really, I don't mind recording some of the simple stuff, but I just, I feel like it's kind of boring to watch solid color nails, you know? Anyway, it's gonna rain, so I got this eyesore of a freaking umbrella. Like, I look so cute right now with my camo and my pink, and then I got this leopard print umbrella, but y'all, I'm not buying one. I refuse to. It's so freaking gloomy outside. But anyway, I got this bag. I'm actually gonna throw it. Is it gonna fit in my Marshalls bag? Because I don't feel like carrying around a plastic bag. It worked. I just have to be careful because, you know, it's ripped right here in the corner. But this is better, easier to hold, and it looks cuter with my outfit. I got my umbrella in my pocket, y'all, because <laughs> I don't want to deal. Oh my god, it is so gloomy. It just got so dark outside. All right, I, I gotta go. Yeah, how am I going to go to work today? Look at this madness, and I gotta go on the train. How am I? Oh my god, this is insane, y'all. <laughs> I forgot my key card today to get into the building. Like I have, th thankfully I, my keys are all combined together. I have the keys for my house, my business, all that. But there's um, a key card that's to the main door. Um, well, no, actually the downstairs door, there's a code. So on days that there's no security or anything, there's a code and then there's a key card upstairs before you actually enter into this building and into this room. I forgot that key card. Y'all should have saw me banging on the door. I felt so ghetto. Oh my God. I had to like, I was literally banging for my life. And then a lady came by and she opened the door for me. I was like, I'm so sorry. I forgot my key card. <laughs> I just felt so stupid. But anyway, okay. So last time I went to go try the chips and I, and I bought the, um, from the Japanese mini, mini market, supermarket, convenience store, whatever. <laughs> Last time I tried the cucumber one, oh, I hated that so much, but they had other flavors and I feel like I would have liked those more. It was like pizza, it was um, crackers, it was like, you know, odd flavors that you typically don't see in chips. But this one, um, I asked the cashier and he was like, oh, it tastes like um, Korean, um, oh my God, like Korean baked seaweed chips. I'm like, ooh, I want to try that. So I really love seaweed. So I want to try this out and see if it tastes good. I'm excited. It's, is it $2.99 or $3.99? See, the $2.99 or $3.99 is the price for it. But I want to see if this one tastes good because the other one didn't. But I feel like this would because I do like seaweed. And I feel like seaweed chips, um, chips. Wow. <laughs> seaweed, see, what? Seaweed. <laughs> um alone like the seaweed chips alone like the regular is really delicious oh it's always hard to open up and you know they come in their own little compact storage situation oh it does look green okay that's interesting all right it smells decent now let's try this and see what it tastes like one minute truth okay It tastes good. I feel like what throws me off about this chip is that it kind of melts in your mouth, kind of grainy. So it feels like you eat, start off as chips and it kind of gets a little like grainy and sandy. But it tastes slightly like seaweed. It's not a strong, potent seaweed flavor. It tastes like like regular chips with a little bit of seaweed um like regular chips and then they sprinkled like seaweed flavoring food. why am i having a brain malfunction regular chips and then they sprinkled seaweed flavoring flavor on top of y'all i'm about to cancel myself <laughs> they just put the flavor on top of the chip 
rather than like like seaweed whatever like mixed in to the product you know do you get what i'm saying rather than stirred and mixed into it they put it afterwards but it tastes good i like this one i didn't like the the cucumber one the cucumber one threw me off but i like this it tastes like chips it tastes like seaweed you have a little bit of the saltiness it was a good one and i returned I only kept one of the rainbow dresses, the one that was like pink with floral and stuff. I kept that one. I returned everything else. I wanted to exchange that green dress to a different medium size. They didn't have medium. They only had small. So it's not worth it for me because it's too tight. Too tight. It fits like a bodycon. That's the whole point of that dress. But it was just way too tight. I felt like I couldn't breathe. So I just returned it. To me, it's, it's not worth the, the <laughs> suffering. But anyway, all right, I'm about to start my client. I finished early and I've already put on my tips. I'm gonna do my nails. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. Well, that's a lie. I kind of have an idea and I grab the colors. The problem is, do I want to do it? Cause I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling lazy. I'm feeling really, really lazy. And I don't know if I actually want to paint all that. Like I want to do fun nails because obviously it's warm outside and summer's coming. And I, had, I grabbed all like the neon and pastel colors, but y'all, yeah. The lack of motivation to actually paint my nails. Like, <laughs> I'm feeling so lazy. Like, if you leave it up to me, I'll just put a solid color or glitter and just call it a day. But I can't do that again because that's what I did last last month, and I need to do some art. I've been slacking, but <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I've already changed my mind at least like four times already. I don't know, girl. I'm gonna put on a show, watch it, enjoy myself. I already ate because I was a little hungry earlier. I'm gonna do that and then figure out what I'm gonna put on my nails. Good morning, y'all. It is the next day. I gotta put on my gloss. Because my lip is so crusty. I don't know what it is. No matter how much I've been exfoliating lately, this is still chapped. It's still crusty. So, put on some lip oil and then moisturizing lip gloss. Oh, I didn't even put on perfume. I've been forgetting that lately. I've been horrible. And then I gotta figure out what purse to put on. Because I have on, well, you can't see it now, but I'm wearing this top crop. And then I have denim jeans on and then my holographic shoes. I had this one yesterday, but I feel like the pink with the orange. I mean, it could be cute, but let me see. Let me take you down a bit so you can see a little more. Like, oop, not that low. Never mind. <laughs> Like, I got a step stool. I'll show you this way. So, this is the denim jeans, right? So, maybe the pink. Or, I have my everyday black one. This goes with everything. It just feels too, it just feels too basic. Or I have this juicy denim one. Maybe this one. Maybe this one. Yeah, maybe this. It gives it a little, a little something extra. So I'm gonna switch out my purse and then be on my way because, girl, at this rate, I don't know when I'm gonna reach. I gotta get all the stuff in out. Yeah, <laughs> I had the funniest and most annoying encounter yesterday one of the ladies 
on my floor. Um, she works in a business like a few doors down. Gosh, she's so annoying. She's so annoying. She almost she always wants to have small talk, but she's a particular woman of a certain background. I'm not gonna say what background it is from. I just feel like some people are just so ignorant that when they speak and voice their opinion, or sometimes they kind of speak in like a questionable way, like you know. Let me do this while I talk to you. Like in a questionable way, like she's trying to understand, but the way that she asks the question and the way that she like, I don't know, it's just the way she does it comes off wrong, you know, it comes off, um, how do I voice this correctly? I mean, the only way that I can say it comes off like a little bit racist without her trying to be racist. At least I don't feel like she's trying to be. I feel like I feel like she's genuinely curious. But the way that she says it is just it comes off wrong. But you know, I don't really take it too personal because I can tell like Oh, she's she's really curious. She asks a lot of questions because usually, typically, when people are having a conversation and they just ask a few questions because they want to learn, you know, some people might get annoyed about that, but I don't mind um, sometimes. But then there's moments where I'm just like, "Lady, I'm not going to be your history lesson," you know. On black culture and stuff like you need you need to figure it out for yourself so there are times where I do get annoyed so, come on wallet anyway so yesterday she made she well yesterday wasn't anything like what I just mentioned to you but all in all I just want to kind of give you a background you know information on the kind of person she is she's really nice but she's just a little ignorant at times but anyway so she comes up to me and she's having a conversation again and i'm like and i'm sitting there and i well, not stay, sitting but standing there and she's having a conversation with me and i'm thinking to myself like oh god here comes another lesson but this time it wasn't a lesson this time was just her assuming something <laughs> and then when i told her about it she just she just didn't get it so she looks at me and you know us black girlies sometimes we have more melanin more um, pigmentation in different parts of our body like I have on my elbows I have on my knees I have in certain parts of my body I just I just have that pigmentation and just like it just it's who I am <laughs> you know not everyone has an even skin tone sometimes it concentrates in other parts of your body so she sees that on me because it's summertime basically so we're not wearing coats and she sees it on me and she's like oh um you might want to moisturize that it, it, you're getting dry skin that happens to me sometimes like did you did you burn yourself and stuff and i looked at it i was like confused i'm like oh did i cut myself like what happened and then she looked at me and she's like oh that right there and then she points to this and i looked at it. <laughs> i'm just looking at her like what <laughs> because I thought common sense, like you can tell, like, <laughs> girl, that's just skin. That's just, it's just a little blacker than the rest of my body. <laughs> so she tells me that, and I'm like, oh no. I was like, oh, thank you. She's like, oh, it's, um, put some moisturizer and stuff on it. And I was like, okay, thank you. And I was like, oh, um, it's actually, I was like, you know, it's just melanin. Sometimes it concentrates in a certain area, it's just melanin. It went right over her head. She's like, oh yeah, she's like, you know, she's giving me, continue to give me tips on how to moisturize my elbows because she thinks it's a burn or like a, like a dryness or something. I'm looking at her like, lady, I just told you what it was. <laughs> but y'all, that just made me laugh. But that's the type of things, well, that, that's not as bad as some of the questions and things she said to me in the past, but that's the type of things I deal with, with people sometimes. I'm just looking at her like, wow. But anyway, all right, I need to get my butt to work because I don't want to get there late. I'm at work now. Um, 
it's super slow. It's a Memorial Day weekend. I had um, two people rescheduled today. I also had two people rescheduled tomorrow's appointment. So maybe people are out of town, you know, and also it's warm out. So I feel like everybody wants to be outside. But anyway, I got a lot of time now, so I'm gonna do my nails. This is what I have so far from what I did yesterday. I ombre the purple into the pink. It's gonna look even nicer after I put gloss top coat on it. I just mattified it because I'm gonna do some art. I've already done my rough sketch. So I'm doing basically, don't judge my rough sketch y'all. <laughs> I'm doing basically like smiley with clouds, checkered, daisies, butterfly clouds and rainbow. Like very super like cutesy, um, pastel tones, no blacks or anything like that. All like colorful, pretty colors. So I'm gonna bang that out now. At least I'll have my nails done when life gets crazy again and everybody starts booking. I don't have to worry about doing my nails. Okay, I just finished this hand. I'm gonna have to finish the other one tomorrow because I'm exhausted. So this is what I have so far. You'll get a closer look afterwards. But now that I'm looking at it, the yellow smiley you can't really see because it has white. And I'm just wondering like if I should add a different color to it to kind of make it pop. Also, I added more detail on the thumb and I have like a rainbow on it. And then the rest of it, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I got lazy. The rest of it, I started getting lazy. I, I was just so over it. And I kind of feel like maybe I overdid the detail. I mean, it looks cool when you hold it together. I don't know. Like halfway through it, I was kind of over it. So <laughs> yeah, now I'm about to snack. And then I have a client coming in soon. Um, I only have, this is, well, give me a second. I only have um, one person tomorrow, which is crazy because it's a Saturday, but I'm telling y'all, everybody's outside. I'm about to snack on this real quick. Um, my client's super early, she's super early. I love her, but she's always here. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. 40 minutes or more before her appointment. She's super early. I wanted to actually eat more, but <laughs> I guess better early than late. Let me take a few pieces of this and then I can't function, I'm hungry. I'll, I'll catch up with you later. Y'all, I'm home now. It is 10.02 p.m. I spent all that time doing my nails and I freaking hate them. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I don't know if I'm overthinking. I'm just not. I'm not feeling it anymore. Like, the only thing I like is this thumb with the smiley and the rainbow. But the more I look at it, the more I realize I really hate it. And now I'm debating if tomorrow when I go in, should I just file it off and do something else? But honestly, if I file it off and do something else, I'm gonna do real simple. Cause I just, this took so much time and it's my non-dominant hand that I'm, do, that I'm doing it with. I'm doing it with my left hand. I don't know, I thought I was gonna be so excited and so in love with it, but I just, I hate it. I hate it so much. And it's executed really nicely. I just, I was trying to be down with this vibe but I'm not, I'm not into it. What do I do? Good morning, y'all. I just finished getting ready for work. I'm about to head out in like two minutes or so. But before I go, I wanna show you what I purchased yesterday at um, Burlington and then also TJ Maxx. Okay, so at Burlington, I did find myself a juicy bag. But y'all, this one is so different than the ones I typically go for. I don't typically go for this one, especially for the straps. Because for me, sometimes it feels a little too, like, sporty. And so I, I tend to stare away from it. But it was the last one left. And the reason why I didn't mind the strap is because of the color. And it wasn't as thick as the rest of them. And this one was for $19.99. And it's this bag right here. I mean... How 
cute y'all i am obsessed with it like i said like typically i don't go for these types of bags it does have that what do you call this material i forgot what you call this material but it does have like that sporty feel to it but i just thought it was so cute first you have the charm right here you have the j i love the juicy couture lettering throughout the bag i love that there's a zipper right here in the front i just thought that was so cool and then also you have a little heart pendant but it's like it's connected to the bag it's sealed into it and it says does it say juicy couture or just juicy it says um juicy on it i just thought that was really cute and then also i love the way it curves so it looks like a handbag but basically like sporty version of it i thought that was so cute like i typically don't go for these straps because they're super thick and they usually look a little more sporty aggressive i think because the ones that i've seen before they have like the strip line on the outside so it's usually like black lining and then the center is like a gray or a white with juicy written all over it so i don't like it but this one is the same nice mauve pink as the rest of it and it says juicy couture all over it i like that it's adjustable this way i feel like they need to make every juicy bag either this way where you can adjust the length of it or give us more of the um holes so we can be able to push it down and connect it properly hold on okay <laughs> or that so it can connect properly and then also it's pretty cool that it has like this this little um this little pouch connected to it i just thought that was super awesome so we're gonna look inside okay inside looks like the typical bags i'm not gonna take the stuffing out but it has the zipper pocket here and then it also has the two pockets there i just think this bag is so cute you definitely can only wear it as like a shoulder or crossbody because there's no handles on the side for you to wear it any other way but basically you know i like it i like the vibe of it i thought that was really cute also i had purchased this for someone and i was gonna gift it to them i don't know if i like it anymore um it's this bag right here and it has the juicy print right here in the front right it looks really pretty and it has the charm up here and it clasps this way of the stuffing so that's what it looks like on the inside right it's got the pockets the typical and then it closes that way it is really pretty and it feels really soft like that soft faux leather feel however this is the part where i'm debating i didn't realize until i got home it has the same strap as my bag there i didn't realize until i got home that it does that awkward like one strap is down here and then the other strap is connected up here so it has like that awkward like why would they do it that way so i don't know if i should keep it or if i should return it so when i put it on like do you see what i mean like this strap is up here front and this one's back here they should have put the strap here on the sides and i also hate the way that this bulges right here in the corner and then you can see how it does on the inside so i'm gonna return this one i like the color and the idea of it but it just looks tacky as hell to me after observing it so this one's going back i'm disappointed in it <laughs> And it costs $29.99. I'm just going to have to find another bag that's like a similar color to this. And gift um, gift this person a different bag. But yeah, I didn't like that one. I was disappointed in that. I'm like why would they bulge it and sew it right there in the side? And why would they make this lopsided? Like I have the, the mini bag that does that. But it makes sense with the mini because it's a barrel bag. And you're gonna wear it as like a shoulder across anyway but this one like you have no options and even if, if if like for instance say she's like oh i don't like this handle and i want to take it off and i just want to use it as like a wrist ba um, bag or whatever she can't even do that because it's attached there's no way to take it off so yeah i'm returning that one that one was a fail 
That's the first juicy bag I bought for myself. That's a fail. Also, I bought myself a full size original Juicy Couture, um, Couture perfume. I have the mini one. And now I officially bought the full size. I've already opened it because I know what it looks like. But yeah, it's even cuter as the bigger bottle. I'm so glad I bought this. Oh my goodness. Even more adorable as the bigger. Okay, so for now on when I'm buying Juicy perfumes, I'm no longer buying the miniature ones. I'm only getting the big size because I don't know the bottles are just better they're just better they're cuter and you get more out of more out of it as well and this one was $39.99 so $40 matter of fact I need to spray some of this on me before I go out today because I want to smell good Ooh, and it smells a little stronger let me put some Ooh, I love this. Yes. But, okay, y'all. <laughs> I just want to show you what I got. I'm going to put this back. And then I'm also going to gift that miniature version that I have of this. I'm going to gift it to this person along with a pink juicy bag. That's the only thing. I got to go on the hunt for a pink juicy bag. I got to go and find one. But yeah, y'all. Okay, back to work I go. Y'all, back at work, clearing up the mess I made yesterday. Ooh. I need to stop doing that. I need to get back at putting things away the, um, the night before so I can come into a clean space. Because it does, it makes a huge difference. It feels super overwhelming when you have to come in the morning and do all of this as opposed to already having it done and then you just come into a clear space with a clear mind, you know? I'm picking up a lot of bad habits, lady. I don't know what's happening with me, but I gotta cut it out. <laughs> finished a little early I'm about to eat my noodle I was gonna do my nails I was gonna fix it but the laziness that took over me is looking like we're not about to do that and then also um, it is Memorial Day weekend it's Saturday so I don't really want to deal with the train issues there's gonna be a bunch of train delays and Today I had to I had to switch over to two or three trains. And typically I just take one all the way. Yeah, look what look what I did again. Also, I need to I need to go to Marshall's. I'm gonna return that bag. I mean not Marshall's, TJ Maxx, what am I talking about? TJ Maxx, return that that juicy bag. If I find something else, I'll exchange for it. If not, I'll just return and take my money and look for something next time. But I've got to remember to buy plastic forks and spoons because this is embarrassing. This is what I've been eating my ramen with. I mean, it, it, it works. Don't get me wrong. But I just keep forgetting to buy plastic um, fork and spoons because sometimes you need it. And when you go buy these things, they don't ever offer chopsticks. They don't offer anything with it, which is really annoying. But yeah, I got to remember to do that because... <sighs> anyway, I'm feeling real lazy. I don't feel like doing my redoing my nails right now. I don't want to get stuck on a train with issues. You know? And it's towards the end of the month. I just want to pay my bills and keep it moving. <laughs> get ready for the next month. And then also, I need to stop after today. Well, not even after today because I still have a little bit home at home. So after I drink this today, this is the um, 
lychee lychee flavored sparkling water and then i have some at home after it's done that's it i gotta take a break i gotta take a break because i haven't been drinking as much water as i should i've been having too many of these i need water in my system i don't know what it is about my taste buds but i was never a sweet kind of girl never i never craved candy i never craved sweets or anything like that and i i still don't in the way that other people do but from time to time now when i have a meal at the end of my meal I'm always trying to convince myself it's like I want something sweet I need something sweet after having a savory and I don't like that about me right now I don't like that and like you, you ever feel like the universe sends you signs because I feel like the universe sends me signs because there's been times where I've been thinking about these things I'm like oh I want to eat something sweet and whatever and then all of a sudden an ad will pop up on my you know social media or I'll walk past an ad as I'm walking by and it'll be like get tested for type 2 diabetes ways to avoid type 2 diabetes and I'm sitting here like are you trying to give me signs you trying to warn me that I need to slow down with all these carbonated drinks and all this sugar and sweets and stuff that I'm having it's mostly like pastry pastry cakes cupcakes um, any type I, I just like cakes cupcakes muffins if it's like a regular cake and it tastes good I'm gonna have it um, tarts like I love all of it I don't know I just I've always loved cakes and I guess it makes sense because I also love bread all that and um I don't really do candy much candy I don't do much candy if it's sweet besides cake it's because I'm trying something else from like a different culture or, or you know but like American candy besides dark chocolate I don't really care for anything else no, actually, Haichu. I like Haichu. I think that's all. Everything else is like chocolate and cakes and stuff, but I need to chill. Anyway, I'm going to eat this and then go to Target and see if I can find something else to exchange or return. Y'all, the ghetto of what I just experienced Oh my goodness. I feel like, ooh, I can't breathe, girl. I gotta unbuckle the pants. Take the phone out of my pocket. Okay. Woo! Hold on, I gotta unzip it as well. Ah, I feel free. But y'all, what I just experienced is crazy. It's absolutely insane. So, I went to TJ Maxx, I returned that bag, I walked around, okay, something's in my eye, I walked around, I couldn't find anything, couldn't find any bag, hold on, Lord Jesus, what is in my eye, I couldn't find any bag that I liked, so I left, I returned the bag, I was like, you know what, whatever, then I went, because um, it's a TJ Maxx and Marshalls downstairs, and then not too far off is Burlington. I didn't feel like going to Burlington because I went the day um, yesterday, and there was nothing there, so I didn't expect to find anything. So anyway, I went, I returned it, and then I decided, okay, since I went to that Burlington yesterday, let me go to the one that's not too far off by Union Square. So I walked to Union Square. I get into Burlington, y'all. What happened? So I'm asking myself if it was real. So I go in, I search around, I walk around, I find a bag that I like. It was the only pink one that I liked and it was, it was going to be perfect gift for her. And it kind of had the strap similar to the one that I showed you earlier. The, the strap that I, that's like, pink but like sporty strap with a little pouch connected to it so it was kind of like that it was like a barrel bag kind of like that and it was a it was um like a small medium size it wasn't too big super pretty all pink not typically what i would wear but i know she likes pink and she would like that version right so i'm standing by the bag and it's so annoying now because apparently they started to um they started with a week ago they 
Why can't I speak? They started putting the um, protective wiring around the bags so no one can steal. So now they lock it up. So they started locking the bags. So annoying. And it's every single bag. So every time you need one, you have to call someone. So I pressed the button. I kept waiting. It was more than five minutes. And you know when you're waiting, five minutes is a long time. So I kept waiting and waiting. So then I was like, okay, whatever. Let me click again. I clicked it again. The lady comes up. She's speaking to me. She was super nice. She's like, oh, um, would you like this bag? And I was like, I feel so, I, I feel so bad that I have to constantly, like, you know, buzz you guys to come and get things out of the aisle for me because everything's locked up. And then she was explaining to me, she's like, well, there's a lot of theft within Burlington um, the last few months. So now they're securing all the bags, anything that's like expensive and not necessarily, <coughs> oh, almost choked, not necessarily just expensive, but things that are highly desirable they've been locking it up so anyway usually when I tell people to think put things on hold because I asked I was like can you put it on hold for me because whenever it's lock locked up they have to hold it up at the register why am I like choking so usually when I do that instead of you know saying my name because they always misspell it anyway I just tell them can you put it under the letter L so I said that to her now I said that to her thinking that's what she's gonna do so I was like can you put it under the letter L Mind you, that's the only bag I found. I'm, I'm like obsessed over it. And you know, once you find a juicy bag that you're really into, you kind of get stuck to it. So you want it. You don't want to let it go because if you let it go and you don't purchase it, you'll never see it again. That's just how it is. They only make limited amounts and that's it. Y'all, if you shop in Burlington, you know the line is long as F. I mean, the line goes all the way down. So me, in my mind, I'm like, all right, that's the only thing I'm buying. Let me get in line and wait for it. I waited in that line for maybe 18 to 20 minutes. I'm passing by. I'm spraying perfume. I'm like, you know, things you do while you're waiting in line. You're grabbing. Ooh, hold on a sec. What is in my eye? You're grabbing little things on your way. I'm getting closer to the register. And I'm looking up at where they have, you know, all the things on hold. And I'm not seeing my bag, so I'm starting to get annoyed. I'm like, oh my goodness, it better be there. But you know, sometimes they have it in the back, so I'm like, whatever. I get up to the register. I ask the um, cashier. I'm like, can you grab my bag? It's on hold. It's under L. It's a juicy pink bag. She walks around. Now, I'm looking at the bag, but I see it in the cream nude bag. Cream nude version. I had already seen that. But the cream nude is in this aisle, and the pink is in this aisle. I saw the nude. I was like, "Ooh, it's cute. I wish it was in pink. And then when I walked over, I saw the pink and I got excited. And I'm like, okay, that's the bag that I want. So I'm staring at that bag and I'm like, why is it? Why do I only see the nude? I don't see the pink there. She comes up to me and she's like, oh, I don't, I'm sorry. I don't see the bag. And I'm like, I'm looking at her like, what do you mean? I put it on hold. I've been in line for like almost 20 minutes and I put it on hold under my name. What do you mean it's not there? And so I'm annoyed. Oh, and I fast forward. Let me rewind. I'm, I'm so hard about telling stories and I'm, I'm annoyed right now, but bear with me. So while I was in line, there's, the, there's this mom with her two kids. They're annoying as F. I'm just watching the kids and the kids are just loud. So I'm just like, you know, kids are, kids are typically annoying. And then we're, we're walking by and then the little boy farts. I wish I was making this up, y'all. He farts while I'm in line. So then, like, the people behind me and the people in front were all, like, looking back, disgusted, like, seriously. And it was a stinky fart. Like, it wasn't, like, a little kid fart. It smelled like a grown man's fart. So I'm just looking, and I'm annoyed. The mom is just looking around. She's not saying anything. She's just walking by. She looks at him. She doesn't say anything. She does I'm just looking at her like, what the hell? Anyway, so back to where I was. So I go to register, and I'm like... Are you serious? I just waited in line for almost 20 minutes for this bag. I didn't I didn't grab anything else. I just waited in line for it and you're telling me the bag's not here and I place it on hold under my name. And so someone else comes up and she's explained to her like, "Oh, 
she's showing her the bag she's like oh I don't, she had a bag on hold i don't know what happened so the lady comes over she looked like she was the supervisor she's speaking to me she's like hey like i'm sorry what happened so i explained to her what happened and then i'm like it's the only pink one you know like i don't understand why it's not there if it's on hold under my name so and i told her i was like there's a lady in the bag department and she's the one that helped me and i told her to place it on hold for me because i know i couldn't walk around with it so she goes back to go grab the bag she's checking for and asking the lady i'm at the register and this little girl <laughs> i'm saying little girl because she looked like she was like 16 17 she starts trying to flirt with me y'all she's trying to flirt with me and i'm looking at her like child please <laughs> she's like asking me about my nails Oh, how long you you been accustomed to it? Like, how do you do things? You know, the typical things like that people say when they're trying to talk to you. And I'm like, yeah, over a decade. And like, I'm trying to hint at her like, I'm a grown woman. First of all, <laughs> before you even assume anyone is what you think they are, you should already know that if you see someone who's way older than you are, relax. <laughs> so she's like, wow, you look you look young wow you you sure 10 years is trying to figure out how old i am and i'm just like getting annoyed i'm like girl please i'm not in the mood for you so tell me why the two ladies come back the lady looks at me and she's like i'm so sorry um someone must have took your bag it, it, there's no more pink ones and stuff i was like i know there's no more pink ones it was the only one left that's why i placed it on hold and I looked at the lady that was there. I was like, she placed it on hold for me. And she was like, yeah, it was right there. It was the pink one and the brown one. And so I looked at the lady and I was like, I told you to put it under the name L. Did you put it under my name? Did you save it under my name? And then she she couldn't even look at me, y'all. She couldn't even look at me. And she's like, she looked at the her coworker and she's like, and the coworker asked her, like, did you place a name on it? She was like, no, I just, I put it up there with the bag for her. Y'all, I was so irritated. <laughs> I was so irritated. It's not even. It's not even about the bag. Like, I really wanted that bag. I'll. It is what it is. I'll just go and buy her another one. That's fine. It's the fact that y'all made me place it on hold. I gave out my name and I waited in line for almost twenty minutes, and then you give it to someone else. And the lady was like, "Oh, someone must have saw it and and you know asked for it and said it that it's their bag and." took that and swapped it out and i'm looking at her i'm like so what's the point of placing it on hold like i just waited in line for nothing and then she took my name and information just in case because sometimes when you really want a bag at a particular store that you shop at frequently they'll take your information it'll either call you or email you when they get the particular style or whatever sometimes they do it's not all stores that that do it it's only the ones that you know feel like they want to do it but anyway I just waited in line and then the lady that put my things on hold didn't even apologize to me. She just walked away. And then the um, supervisor woman, she was just like, oh, I'm so sorry. We'll call you and contact you if anything, if we find it again, if we get a new shipment. But y'all, I was so irritated. Like y'all made me wait in line for nothing. I was so annoyed. I did what you do when you're annoyed. I went to go get food. I already have a lot of food at home, but I needed a few more things because, you know, it's Memorial Day weekend and hours are going to be crazy. Stores are going to close early and I don't want to have to go back. But I grabbed um, the Doritos and it was two for seven dollars. So I got the Cool Ranch and then I got the Nacho Cheese. Two for seven dollars. Originally, just one bag alone is six dollars and twenty nine cents. That is hella expensive for no reason at all. And then I bought um, two Cape Cod, uh, I was about to say Cape Cod pizza, <laughs> two Cape Cod chips, and they were two, two for eight dollars, so four dollars each. I got the kettle cooked sweet and spicy um, jalapeno. Now I've only tried the spicy jalapeno. I haven't tried the sweet and spicy, so. I'm going to taste that on camera and let, just, and let you know how I feel about it. And then also, there's the sea salt. Um, oh, I grabbed the wrong one. <laughs> I was supposed to grab the um, 
sour cream. I grabbed the sea salt, 40% less, less fat added. Y'all, maybe the universe is trying to tell me something. I was supposed to grab the sour cream to try that and the sweet and spicy. Girl, the universe is trying to tell me to slow down. And then I bought the Daya provolone slice, the vegan cheese, because that dairy be destroying my stomach sometimes. And then I bought the Smart Balance um, original butter. Everything was on sale. I forgot how much the cheese is on sale, the butter, everything. I think they were having like a Memorial Day weekend um, sale at the grocery store because everything was down. This one was only $4, surprisingly. Usually it's about, I would say like 6 to $7. So, uh, and I like mines with pulp. I know some people like their orange juice without pulp. I like mine with pulp. And then I bought some, what is this? Maple honey turkey slices so I can do some sandwiches. I'm going to use that. I already have bread. Like I said, I have rice. I have bread. I have um, tomatoes, peppers, onions, like yogurt, all that other stuff. I have it in the fridge. I just needed more items. And then I bought some chicken gizzards. This was only $4.54. I like chicken gizzards. I don't know. I don't know if you're into that. I like chicken gizzards, chicken neck, turkey neck, um, fish heads. I actually have a fish head here that I just purchased. And then I, I have the beef um, steak, round eye steak. This one was on sale for $5.57. Well, not on sale. That's the actual price. So I can have some meats um, for me to cook. And then I have some salmon head. And this one's $4.69. I love fish head. But yeah, y'all. I just want to let you know how crazy my day just went. It is the end of the weekend. Ooh. I think I'm going to end this vlog here. Because I think it's gone on too long. But anyway. Alright, let me go put this in the fridge. Actually, what am I talking about? Before I go, let me taste this up. Let you know how I feel about it. Hold on, let me say how this is it. Amen. Okay, so sweet and spicy jalapeno. Let me let you know how it tastes. Ooh. That was good. It's not it's not too sweet. It's not too sweet. It has like a hint of sweetness. It still tastes like the original, like the original jalapeno version of this, just the regular. It still tastes like that, just with like, I would say like 2% of like the sweetness. That's how much flavor it has with it. The rest of it tastes exactly the same as the original. But anyway, y'all. All right. I'll catch you on the next one. Woo. <laughs> you know you old when you're ending the video with the peace sign i did the millennial peace sign i can't help it <laughs> yeah i'll catch you on the next one